The victim's families called today's admission that led to a plea deal a slap on the wrist for a deadly high-speed wreck. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan has been covering the case since the beginning, and she has a new developments tonight from Mineola. My son is dead. <laughs> Nobody knows that pain. <laughs> This mother's sobs reverberated throughout the courtroom for the lives of two teen friends killed in a high-speed car crash. Driving is a privilege. It's not to kill people. She went over 100. Protected by her family, Nyla Frazier had just admitted guilt and got three to seven years for manslaughter without a plea. A trial meant she faced up to 15 years. It was 2021. Frazier behind the wheel of her BMW accelerating around a West Hempstead curve, running a light, smashing into a truck, her two passenger friends killed. Curtis Caesar had just graduated from a Queens Magnet School and Amanda Argonzoni, a West Hempstead High cheerleader. It wasn't fair. It wasn't fair at all. It took my daughter away from me. It changed my life forever. I can't spend a moment alone because I go crazy. I'm a studio engineer, so we used to make songs together. And I'm... Um, Sorry, it's hard to talk about. Thank you. Friends and supporters say serving as few as three years is outrageous. She was doing 105 miles an hour two seconds before impact. This was murder. But the defendant's attorney hopes this can be about forgiveness and healing. This is a horrendous situation. It's tragic all the way around. The judge understands that this is a young girl who was immature at the time. As a praying person, I do hope that God gives her that peace and grace to actually ask for forgiveness for killing two people that everybody loved. Nyla Frazier plans to speak of her remorse at her sentencing here in May and then will begin her three to seven years at an upstate prison. In Mineola, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.